U.S. Naval Base Guam Chapel partnered with the Navy Exchange to collect and donate items to numerous organizations in the Guam community over the last few months. The Naval Base Guam Chaplain's Office coordinated these donations with Guam Village mayors, schools, and nonprofit organizations during the holiday season and into the new year. So we've done a lot uh, since October. Um, we've donated to um, the Navy Sister Villages, Santa Rita Mayor's Office, Agate Mayor's Office, PD Mayor's Office, JP Torres Elementary School, Agate Elementary School, the Salvation Army, um, Food Pantry and the Lighthouse Recovery Center, um, Island Girl Power. Um, there are just so many organizations that need help and you know we're just so happy to be able to give them the help that they need. The chapel received items from the Navy Exchange and in turn donated them to various organizations around the island. Chaplain Thompson explains how they are able to give so much. We get all of our our donations from the uh, Navy Exchange. They have a, a, a special agreement with the uh, base chapels around the world that we're the only ones that they can donate to. The, the NEX has been outstanding in providing us with with materials to give out and um, uh, it, it just seems like a win-win situation. One of the recent donations went to the Department of Youth Affairs. Peter Alexis D. Ada, former deputy director for the department, tells us about the donations they received. The um, Navy chap uh, Chapel uh, are donating to the Department of Youth Affairs uh, some uh, Gatorades, uh, I think there's five, five pallets, and also chips. And those will be distributed amongst the children that are in here, as well as the resource centers. Many of those that are in the resource centers are the ones pretty much at home, but we still monitor their mobility. There are three Department of Youth Affairs resource centers available to the Guam community, one in Dededo, one in Agate, and one in Mangilao. Mr. Atta shared the mission of the Department of Youth Affairs with us. The primary mission here is to make sure and assure the parents that kids are safe, their children are safe. Thank God so much for the, for the chaplain of the Naval Station to uh, be able to provide for these children Naval Base Guam Chapel recently provided more than 20 donations, including 23 pallets to Saipan and Tinian for the Super Typhoon U-2 relief efforts. The total cost of donations is more than $85,000. Chaplain Thompson says that the chapel plans to continue the mission of giving throughout the year. For one, uh, we plan to do this year round. Um, it just so happens that we had some ship visits from the Navy Exchange during the summer that didn't work out. They, they were called for, for whatever reasons uh, to other parts of the planet. So the Navy Exchange had an abundance. So we were, we were able to, to pass this out. Chaplain Thompson tells us about his personal experience while on Guam and how these donations helped develop the relationship between the Navy and local community. Guam is probably one of the best places to serve in the world. It's one of my best duty stations. I've been, I've been uh, in, the, in, in the Navy and in the service for uh, 30 and 35 years. And uh, Guam is, is probably the most welcoming community that we have. Uh, they appreciate the military and they show it. And it, it's time for us to show a little bit of appreciation too to our brothers and sisters in Guam, uh, showing that, that, that uh, whatever uh, resources we have, that, that we're there to bless the community as well, that, that welcomes us into their family. Representatives from the Naval Base Guam Chapel encourage others to participate in the spirit of giving and remind the community that the Navy is here to serve them. For the kids, um, if they ever need anything, they can reach out. We have a Facebook page, uh, Naval Base Guam Chapel. So if you like us, um, just feel free to comment anything and we will reach back out to you. And that's it. Reporting for U.S. Naval Base Guam, I'm Petty Officer Oliver Cole.